Alrighty, so today we wanted to show three different methods of cleaning solar panels. On the far right, we just quickly used the hose on jet mode and sprayed off the solar panel. As you can see, it definitely left bigger stuff on the solar panels and there's a very clear color difference as there's more filth still left on the hosed only panel. On this guy, we used a 14 inch uh, brush here. Didn't spend a ton of time on it, but as you can see, there's a clear difference between just the hose and the brush. And on the third panel, we tried this guy. Similar idea, just more of a brush um, with those, those bristles there. Yeah, the overall result is pretty comparable on these two. I think this may actually be faster since I only did a quick pass, whereas this kept running out of soap. One thing to note is on either of these, there's both still some sort of residue here um, that will likely take real work to get out. Um, as you can tell, it's not actually shading the solar cell itself. That's part of the reason they leave this space here. Um, but I'd be curious if we put more elbow grease into it, if it, if it came out. Today's video brought to you by Gatorade, bold and intense. A big reason we chose this product was because this is stuff that you may already have laying around your house. Uh, and if not, it's fairly inexpensive for window cleaning. Uh, it's just an extension pole there. I believe this one goes up to 20 feet with, uh, that particular type of brush and this guy and the cleaner. All right. Just wanted to take a second look at these panels this was after two washings um this guy just hosed twice two with the uh, one brush and the other brush still gonna have some soiling there that seems like it will come off with a little bit more elbow grease but not as friendly as we wanted to come off and it really seems like the two are very similar in overall cleanliness. You can still see that there are some bird droppings that would likely take a little bit more work to get those out. So on this back roof, we've got a different model. These are Solar World 290s. Rest in peace, Solar World. Um, which you can see how, just how filthy these are right now. I mean, take your hand on it and nice and filthy. We're going to give them a wash in here, but, uh, so you can kind of again, see here where the manufacturer intentionally left extra space here for all of that, uh, soiling that dirt that's in the air, uh, to kind of, you know, hit the bottom of the panel there and not affect the solar cells. So good engineering. Today's video brought to you by Pab's Blue Ribbon Extra 6.5 extra awesome because you're extra awesome. One thing I should note on these solar world panels is there's definitely more of a discoloration uh, kind of close to the frame. It has a little bit different of a color and that's actually after I've cleaned it. Um, this stuff definitely needs, you know, a lot more work to get them clean over the LG panels on the other roofs. 